We are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And this time around, we've got some beautiful single ladies. Make some noise, ladies. Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right. So we are going to be bringing out some single men one by one. When they come around this corner, if he's your type, you know, he checks all of your check boxes, whatever it is, do not pop your balloon. However, anything he says or, you know, maybe just really not feeling his fit, whatever it is, go ahead and pop your balloon if you aren't feeling him at all. Okay, are we ready? Yes. All right, so let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. And if you ain't feeling me, it's okay. If you ain't feeling my four, it's okay. Everybody got stuff going on just like you got stuff going on. So don't judge me. I got stuff going on. <laughs> My medicine is working. It's been clearing up. If, you, uh, uh, if you're new here, I'll be having something that's going on. Okay. Hello. Welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is Troy, and I'm 33 years old with a baby face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Troy, what do you do? I'm a family nurse practitioner with over seven years' experience, and I also recently uh, started my own company, uh, Hotline Health. It's a telemedicine company geared towards uh, men, but I'm qualified to help um, everyone. Am I tripping? <laughs> Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Are y'all picking up what, what, what vibes is putting down? I don't say a word. Mm-mm. But am I tripping? Let me know. Let me know. If, 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 if I'm not tripping, just put the eyes, the, the emotion, and, and let me know if I'm am I tripping. He walked in belly first. <laughs> belly first. But that's not why I'm tripping, though. Okay. And I just uh, love being an entrepreneur and helping the community, and that's what I do. Very nice. Uh, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, mainly, I love to travel. Uh, mainly, of course, experiences uh, either in the Caribbean or Italy. I just love new experiences. I'm spontaneous. I'm also an adrenaline junkie, so either okay. from hang gliding, uh, scuba diving, river rafting, jet ski, um, and then basic also like basketball and uh, just eating you know, nice cuisines. Nice, nice. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I look for, first and foremost, um, a Christian woman, uh, mainly, you know, love God. Um, another plus is if she does attend church regularly, like I do. Uh, and, and also, if she can hold a note, um, you know, I love to sing. And so maybe do a little duets, you know, would be nice. Okay. And go from there. And mainly someone that has a caring spirit and just a sweet person. Got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, mainly someone who smokes mm. um, and just not a pleasant attitude and someone who can just be peaceful, but also loves to try new things and just have fun. OK. All right. Well, we did get uh, two pop balloons. Mm -hmm. Let's head on over there and see why they ended up popping. All right. Definitely. All right, come on. OK. If we can have your name and age. Hi, baby face. My name is <laughs> Layla Elise. I'm 29. OK. And Layla Elise, what do you do? I am a real estate investor, and I also just got into project management. Awesome. Okay, so why did you end up popping your balloon? So I really... So she working the project? <laughs> she said project management. Y'all know I'm a little slow when it comes to certain things. I have a, a solid IQ at life, but when it comes to certain smart, I'll be a, it's take a little time for me to get there. You know? I'm a weird wired individual as well. You know, I got weird wiring going on. Well, project manager, what does that mean? She, she managed the project? <laughs> we love Let me know. Dinner. Okay, thank um, you. Very calm, very welcoming. I feel very comfortable. Appreciate it. Unfortunately, we just don't align in terms of like the church, okay. you know? That's fair. Um, I am an adrenaline junkie too. Okay. But yeah, the church, that's a big thing we wouldn't align on. I think that's very foundational. It's very important. Yes, yes. Um, and then, yeah. All right. I respect that, definitely. Now, is uh, Layla Lee someone that's your type? Yes, definitely. She's beautiful. I love the color she has, you know, and it compliments her well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And we did get one more down over here. Okay. Let's head on over there. Okay, let's start with your name and age. Kendra, I'm 29. All right. Nice Kendra, to meet you. what do you do? Nice to meet you too. I work in sports. I am the head of a marketplace for an NIL network. Okay, very nice. Awesome. And now, why did it end up popping your balloon? Just not aligned religiously, but you're dressed so nice, Appreciate so attractive. It. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Okay. 
And now, is Kendra someone that's your type? Yes, definitely. I like the accessories she has, you know, and I see she has style with the white shoes. So definitely. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Let's head on back. All right. So we do still have quite a few balloons left on Popped. Okay. Go ahead and ask these ladies a question. Just help you narrow it down. See okay. who's more your type. Definitely. So what would you say is one interesting or unique thing about yourself? Okay. Let's start right on over here. If we can have your name and age first. Hi, baby face. I'm Serena <laughs> and <laughs> I'm 29. Okay. And Serena, what do you do? Um, I work a regular nine to five. I drive coach buses and also I'm a full-time student for pre-nursing. Awesome. Oh man. She looks like an amazing woman. Beautiful chocolate skin physique. Oh, hey, hey. You feel what I'm saying? Her proportions is proportionate. I like how her head is like she can wear every hairstyle. She got a good shaped head. Yeah, she beautiful. These two, oh, they beautiful. Oh, man. There you go. Yeah. Definitely <laughs> nursing connection. Uh, <laughs> now, your question was, what's something unique about yourself? Correct. Yeah, unique okay. or interesting about yourself. Um, Something interesting is that um, I shoot pool and I work out five to six days a week. Okay. So. Definitely the fitness. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go right on over here. Your name and age. Oh, she's Jordan, I'm 27. Awesome. Nice to Jordan, meet you. what do you do? I'm a therapist and I also own a small business. Great. And if you want to just go ahead and answer his question. Yeah, so um, aside from being a therapist, I'm really, really into herbalism. Okay. Um, so I'm actually working towards becoming a registered herbalist, and I think that's Great. pretty interesting. Awesome. All right, let's go on over here. You're hey, pick number two, bro. Pick number two, bro. I'm telling you, pick number two. She got the marble skin dress. You know what I mean? T pick number two. Pick number two, bro. Name and age. And she said she practiced herbalism. I, I practice a, a handsomeism. Yeah, I've been working on my handsomeism. Getting my skin together, handsomeism. Is that name for real? Hi, my name is Candy and I'm 29. Hello. Candy, what do you do? I am an HR professional and I am also a travel advisor. Okay. Yeah. If you want to just answer his question. Absolutely. So um, one interesting thing about me is that I love travel as well. Okay. Um, so I think that's one of the things that we could really connect on is just being able to travel. Um, and I truly believe in living life and not just exist, just existing. So Definitely. 100%. I think that's important to really experience life. For sure. So, yeah. Totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> What's going over here? Your name and age? I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. Okay. And Tanisha, what do you do? I'm a real estate agent and a part-time server. Okay. Nice. And then if you want to go ahead and just answer this question. So one interesting thing about me is that I actually like anime. Okay. And, um, and also pretty nerdy things. Right. Like um, Lord of the Rings as well. <laughs> cool. Cool. Hey, everybody likes what they like. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I like. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Let's go on to our last lady okay. over here. Your name and age. My name is Naya, but I go by Naya Monet. I'm 26 years old. I'm in the beauty and wellness industry. And something interesting about me is I do modeling, acting, and music. Awesome. I love all things beauty. I'm actually getting a degree in that. I love helping people, making them feel beautiful and understand that health and beauty and wellness is a commitment. Self-care is really yes, important. important sure. I do understand and I love that you like to travel and I like the way that you carry yourself as well. I appreciate it so much. Thank you. Right. Let's head on back. Let's head on back. All right. So I am going to now hand you a pick. Okay. It is time to pop these ladies balloons. So let me... I watch all the clips and now it's my turn. It's your turn. Yes. Yes, it is. No, nah, I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. All right. I so tripping. I am going to now hand you a pick. Okay. It is time to pop these ladies' balloons. So let me. I watch all the clips and now it's my turn. It's your turn. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So I am going to have you pop. Mm, let's go with one balloon. One balloon? Yes. Based off of what all you right. see, what you've heard, whatever it may be. Okay. I'm not stripping. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. He got that baby mama arch. He got that. He got that. Ba <laughs> hey, all sorry, right. Sorry. Why did we end up popping nah, her balloon? Bro. Nah. Um, just I love her style. You, you know, the black. Uh, mainly, I think just initially, just the physical you know I mean? attraction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Fair enough. But yeah, and I love the hair, the color. You know, everything. Okay. 
thank you. <laughs> Let's head on back. Okay, go ahead and ask our beautiful ladies another question. Okay. If you was to describe yourself slash your personality as an animal, what would it be? Wow. Let's start down there and then move okay. back. <laughs> mine's a be mine's a be All right, let's start with you. Oh, I man. think that I would be a cheetah. Okay. I feel like I am majestic and kind of fast in a way. All right. And yeah. Okay. Good. So for me, I would say probably a bird. All right. Um, because I feel like I have a free spirit. And like I mentioned before, I really like to enjoy life. So I would say a bird. Definitely. Like that answer? Yeah. Over here. I would say a lioness because um, the lions are known to be the king of the jungle. Mm -hmm. But if you know anything about them as creatures, um, the woman um, is actually really the homestead for Yes. For them. So. And over here. I would say I'm a cat. And. Cat. <laughs> Um, a cat because cats are very independent. Mm -hmm. um, they love to sleep and love to eat. I love sleep and I love eating. And also, um, cats sometimes need their space, but they come yeah. and they're they're very affectionate and they Definitely. come up under you. So I'm I'm pretty much like a cat. Okay. <laughs> Besides that comment, she is gorgeous, man. You see, bro, she is gorgeous. It's nothing like a plain Jane, beautiful chocolate woman. No tattoos, clear face, skin. She ain't even got no makeup on look like. Just come plain Jane hair done, good dress, boom. I'm showing up. She look like she look good in her sleep. <laughs> That's how you know. When you sleep and you can, even if she is snoring, she look good. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> okay, it oh, is going to pop another balloon. And I would say, uh, can I answer it too? Oh, yeah. yeah, let's go ahead I'll, and hear yours. Yeah. So I would say that for me, it would be more of like a bear. Um, mm. I am a leader, um, pretty much. I'm also a nurturer, especially being in the healthcare field. And um, also being strong and powerful to even protect the home and my loved ones. Mm. So, yeah. Okay, nice. For him, I say like flamingo, you know? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> me. I'll be a chimpanzee, man. You know what I mean? I'll be a chimpanzee because chimpanzees they smart. They 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 know everything. Uh, a ape. Uh, I'll be a a a um 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 um. Oh man. Off of Planet of the Apes, Caesar. I'll be Caesar from the Planet of the Apes. Oh man. You feel me? I'm charismatic. You know what I mean? I remember things. You know. I, I, I'm. Oh yeah. All right, so off of these responses you've heard, you let's bad. go ahead and pop one of those balloons. Okay. Just one. Just one. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, why did we end up popping hers? I think I love all the responses so far, definitely. I think the compatibility, especially with the anime and the things, I think just it wouldn't gel well yeah. with me. But, you know, I love your smile. I love the pearls. Um, and, yes, I just think Thanks. off of the vibe. All right, and now so why did you have your balloon popped for him? I think that he has a really nice style. Um, his career is really intriguing, and I would thank love you. to le learn more about it. Thank but, you. But, um, yeah. Okay, thank you. Perfect, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, we do have three ladies left. Let's have you ask one final question. One final question. Mm-hmm. Probably like, man, I came with two. <laughs> Can I check my notes real quick? You have notes? Yeah. Oh, y'all, he came ready. Okay. <laughs> I hope he don't get it. I hope he don't get it. I hope nobody get it. If, if she, if I'm telling her, I'm going to do this. We going on a date. We're going to hit her up. If nobody pick her up this video, I'm DMing her. Sure, I'm going to take her on a date. First reaction to take her what's uh, uh, about the balloon contestant on the date. That sounds kind of cool. When if it work, oh man, shoot my jumper. Uh oh, she said she will. I'm gonna shoot my jumper. Let, let if nobody if she leaves with no one, I'm shooting my shot, bro. She look good, bro. We all look good on it right here, bro. She right here. She look good. Bro. Let's check those notes. Oh, yeah, man. see, he said I'm finding I'm finding my match today. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> um... Okay, two part question. Okay. Um, but what are some qualities you look for in a partner? 
And what do you feel are some elements for a successful relationship? Mm, okay. Let's start on over here. It's a great question. Um, some qualities I would look for in a partner is a man that's considerate, number one. Um, a man who has some sort of relationship with a woman figure in his life. Okay. Um, that, that shows me that, you know, you understand women and that's femininity. Right. Um, somebody who is loving, who loves affection, a leader, um, a man with a plan. I love intentional man. Mm -hmm. and, um, and the second part was... Qualities of a partner? Important things for a relationship? Correct, yeah. Um, communication, but comprehension along with communication because you can have great communication within a relationship all day. True. But, but it's about, under. do you understand me when ah! I talk? Where is she? I need her. <laughs> I'm hitting her up. Let her not go with nobody. It's over with. I'm, 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 I'm getting with her. I'm here. Can or do I understand you when you're talking? If it's something that bothers you, can I bring that to you or can you bring it to me yes. and without um, arguing? And not every disagreement is an argument. So True. we're able to disagree with each other. Love that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's hear from you. Okay. Um, so I look for emotional intelligence mm. in a man. And I know that's a very common phrase. Um, and I think it's misused a little bit. Obviously, it's about understanding your partner. But I also think a component that a lot of people miss is understanding your own emotions mm -hmm. and being able to articulate those and control them. Um, so emotional intelligence on both of those levels. Yes. Um, I also look for a man whose manhood is not grounded in anything external. Right. Okay. I want um, a man who is confident in his manhood and who he is, yes. regardless of me or anybody else. Um, and then I think to answer your second question, what's oh, important shit. to me in a relationship is obviously communication mm -hmm. um, both ways um, and also uh, the ability to, again, communicate how you're feeling in a productive way. Yes. Um, and then secondly, um, Am, an ambitious man, mm -hmm. right? Um, who's not intimidated by an ambitious woman. A lot. Of, I'm a traditional woman, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? And I find that a lot of traditional men, although I am looking for a traditional man, they often are intimidated by an ambitious woman. So yes, got it. All right, and our last girl here. Yes. Um, so some of the things that I look for in a man is definitely compatibility. Um, I want to be able to have a friend uh, first and foremost in a relationship. So definitely compatibility. Um, yeah. I also look for um, qualities, someone who has a relationship with God. So you mentioned being mm -hmm. in church and those types definitely. of things. I do a lot of uh, mentoring and tutoring of children. Um, okay. And I also am very active in the in the church community as well. Um, and then also emotional intelligence. So one that has already been mentioned, um, but for me, that's really huge because I want um, someone who is able to understand my emotions as a woman, understand my emotions as your partner, Yes. Um, but also understand your own emotions and how to regulate those in conversations or conflict and things like that. Um, so in a relationship, I think um, the biggest thing is uh, definitely emotional intelligence and communication. So again, okay. um, comprehending is one thing and being able to communicate is another. True. So it's, you know, both go hand in hand mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, those are good responses. They are. They are. <laughs> they came with the heat. They yes, came with they the did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you do have to pop one of their balloons, unfortunately. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Good job, brother. <laughs> she makes it another round. Man, I'm telling you, bro. Did, did she, did, oh, did you put her Instagram? Put her Instagram. All right. Why did we end up popping her balloon? So, for starters, I love the color. I love Thank the dress. You. Thank you. Um, mainly just out of the three remaining i just feel like i'm more gravitating to them too okay. um but i do love the eye contact you gave when you're answering questions and things like yeah. that all of those small <laughs> key things i pay attention to right okay and now why did you have your balloon and pop for him he's a very handsome guy carries okay. himself well and he speaks really well as well so and i love the outfit i, I love for my man thank to you. have thank you know you. some <laughs> nice and you know classic yeah. on so i appreciate it yeah all right, our two remaining ladies, any questions for our guy? Okay, let's start right over here. 
I actually wanted to ask you to define in your own terms what it means to be a man, but since you already mentioned your religion, what does it mean to be a God-led man? God-led man, definitely. Um, so for starters, without Christ, you know, where would we be? And so mainly for me growing up in the church, but as well as I've seen how God's hand has moved and blessed me along different trials that I've been through. And so one, uh, using him as the leader in everything that I do in decisions that I make and maybe trips I want to go on or uh, business ventures. And so with prayer and fasting sometimes, um, that's where I get the guidance. And so I see that is really important, you know, and so, you know, I don't hate on anyone else who likes to do it on their own way, but I know with me, um, God is important. And if I Christ in my life, that I wouldn't be the level I am. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Any questions here? Yes. I have a lot of questions, but <laughs> um, what do you like to do for fun? So, like I mentioned, you know, adrenaline, but so that, right? on a simple level, things of singing, doing a karaoke, um, sometimes playing board games, uh, going to like a, participating in a dance class, say like a Zumba or a hip hop class. Mm -hmm. And so I'm definitely loving to switch things up. And so I don't like just a boring, stagnant life. And, you know, there's beauty in all things. And so, yeah, that was, those are a few things to list. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Do you go out at all or anything like that as far as, like, a social life in that regard? Oh, oh yes, yeah. You know, a few of my family and friends label me as a social butterfly. Okay. And so, yes, I am more outside than not. Um, there's rarely a day when I'm in 24 hours. Like, I just... it. Yeah, that's not me. And so okay. I'm all for the social events and sometimes even planning things mm -hmm. outside or even church-related, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Ooh, y'all came with all the heat today. <laughs> all right. It is time. That's why you don't judge a book by its cover. I would have never thought. If you know, I would have never thought. I'm a, I would have never thought. Time to pop one of their balloons. Who are we going to pop? Can I ask one last question? Just on where they live that's all okay let's do that that's that's a, that's a simple enough one all right where do you live i'm actually nomadic so i like i said i'm a therapist but i work fully remote okay so i travel wherever i plan on living i'm currently staying in texas okay but that'll only be for a couple more weeks okay Damn. where do you stay so i am in north carolina charlotte north carolina charlotte north carolina i've yeah. been there as well yeah okay where are you i'm based out of phoenix now okay yeah originally from new york but i'm here now for the past okay. few years okay mm -hmm. Okay, with that information, who are we popping? One key, one key question. It's, it'll be quick. No, no, it's not actually a question. Well, it's more of a statement. Please. please okay, 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 okay. I have. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I guess. Never mind that. I was just gonna say that I have a son. That's all. If it was a deal breaker for anybody, but that's it. Okay. Yeah. We do. It. I'll come back. Actually, no. Let's let's go here first, and then we'll go to her. Okay. So why do we end up popping? Um, I. I understand there's a lot of beautiful women up here, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like when you get narrowed down to two, I want an intentional man. I, okay. I want you to be able to choose what, what's best for you. So That's fair. Yeah, I was just mentioning that I had a son. That's all. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Okay. So now he did say he has a son. Is that a deal breaker for you? Uh, no. How old is your son? 18 months. I mean, that's recent. Yeah, I, I, that day. Yeah, that might be uh, just kind of okay. young. Yeah, okay, and that's so. fair. And that's why I wanted to mention yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with the kids, but I just I just don't do the baby mama drama. And I don't know oh, that you have I, I any of that. I was previously married for 11 years, but yeah, there is okay. no toxicness. Okay. But I just yeah. wanted to mention yeah. that. That's he just all. seems really young, though, for the son. So okay. I, I, I understand. Yeah. No judgment. No, for sure. That's yeah. why I wanted You're to share. Pop. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's head on back. Yeah, I just want to be honest. Yeah. Oh, we almost had her. Yeah, no, it's cool. <laughs> I wanted to definitely make sure everyone understood. Right. I mean, I had a little song to sing from a match too as well, but you know, I don't have one, so it's all good. We want to hear it. No, nah, no, nah, it'll be when Arlette brings me again. When we bring you back. Correct. Okay, okay. Correct. All right, well, that is all the balloons. That's fine. But, ladies, let's go ahead and give it up for him. Sure. I'll take this Thank mic. You so Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? Hello, my name my name is Jock. Jock? 
Jock. Jock. Like French. Okay, okay. <laughs> and how old are you? I am 35, ma'am. 35, and what do you do? I am a cybersecurity engineer. Cybersecurity engineer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I like uh, hiking. I go to a lot of tropical places, uh, typically. I uh, just came up from Columbia earlier this year. Uh, I like uh, snorkeling, so that's one of, one of my favorite things to do. Okay. Uh, as well, in my free time, I have uh, a lot of friends I like to hang out with. I live in Vegas as well, so... Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 I... Uh, <laughs> I uh, I hang out with them a lot of time. Uh, it's it's a lot of stuff to do in Vegas as well. Right. So like uh, that. he like Damian Lillard. <laughs> he like Damian Lillard mixed with a hit of Paul George. Oh me, fake blended. That's what you see when you get you a taper. Show them this. Blend it in. You don't want that chili ba ba ba. You want that blade. You want them to hit that blade. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that. Hit that fade. 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 Oh, man. A place keeps me preoccupied regardless. Okay, nice. And now, uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Oh, uh, I would like to start my own family, so uh, hopefully she doesn't have any kids. No offense or anything. Okay. Uh, see, hopefully she's nice and kind. <laughs> uh, she's a, she likes catering, right, to a guy that she connects with. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a spark of connection. And uh, most important thing for me, I'm a hard worker. And I want a woman that is also a hard worker, too. Okay. Oh, I was at a party. <laughs> now, what are some deal breakers oh. for you? Uh, like I said earlier, if she has any kids, mm -hmm. uh, that's that's the main deal breaker. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. So we did get some pops. Let's go on over there, see why they ended up popping. Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's start here with your name and age. Hi, I'm Serena. I'm 29. Hello, Serena. And Serena, why did you end up popping your balloon? You said you wanted a hardworking woman, and I am not a hard worker. I don't want a job, so <laughs> that's pretty much that. <laughs> that's cool. Um, I'm born to be feminine, not hard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, prior to him saying that, it was he someone that is your type? He is someone that's my type. Um, I'm actually not trying to go for my type, but you are someone that I would give a chance to. Yeah. <laughs> and now, uh, Jock, is she someone that's your type? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. And all right. So she look good, but what you mean? You're an adult. You're an adult. What are you talking about? Femininity doesn't mean be a child. Like, what does that mean? I don't, I don't want to work hard. I don't want to work and get a job at all. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that if you find the right man who doesn't mind. I don't mind, but... For that to be a reason to pop, it's like you're looking for somebody to just take over. You know what I mean? Like what you got to offer. You know, I don't know this woman. I'm just speaking on the behalf of women who think like that. I was born to be soft and born to be. Hell, mate, being a, being a, being a wife, regardless, is hard work. That's not easy. So if you're already going into that thinking it's going to be easy, you're going to be getting divorced a lot. God gonna test your relationship. It's gonna be trials and tribulations just because money ain't everything. So to, to even think, man, ah, uh, wanting everything easy would never work out, man. We did get another pop. Well, two more. Let's go down over here. Your name and age. I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. Okay. And Tanisha, why did you end up popping your balloon? So I actually live in Scottsdale, and that is a deal breaker for me. So. Okay. Him, him being in Vegas was a deal breaker. Okay. Yeah. Got it, yeah. got it. But is he someone that is your type? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Nice fit and everything. Damien Paul Lillard. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and now is she someone that's your type? I'd holler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's a yes? No? We're like. It's a yes. Okay. Cool, cool. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's go on over here. Your name and age. Hi, my name is Kendra. I'm 29. And Kendra, why did you pop your balloon? For me, it was just the fact that he mentioned he wants a woman to cater, but he also wants like a hard worker. And for me, it's like if you he want, didn't say cater. you kind of have to choose a lane where it's like if you did want you a woman that? that's going to be a hardworking professional, I love that and I admire that. But if you want a woman that's going to be at home catering to you, she's not going to be out like only so much time in the day. <laughs> but you look so good, dressed nice, handsome. Thank night. you. Thank you very much. Okay. And now is she someone that's your type? Yes. Okay. With that, right? I don't know if you said cater or not. You know what I mean? 
I was I was thinking about Lillard pulling up to thirty. He looked like he looked like I'm telling you, like a bit, but what 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 does your duty as a woman have to do? Like you, my woman, right? You work hard. You can't cater to me. We cater to each other. So just because I work hard, I can't cater to you. Let's flip it. Let's say you are a stay at home woman, quote unquote. What do they love to do? Stay at home. No pay, no bills. Go shopping. Right. I work hard all day. So if I come home and just zoned in and don't cater to your effects, you want me to be affectionate, that's catering to that. Catering to your, what's the name? Picking up when you down. You may have had a long day with the kids or something. What if I'm not catering to you? Does that make an excuse for me? Because that's, that's her logic. I can't be outside working hard. Where's the time in the day? It's a lot of time in the day. You go work hard. You get home. Whatever you do, you, you, you cater if you really want it. That's why I'm like, it, it can't. Come on. Because men go through it all the time. They go home, work hard. They, they go out, work hard, come back home. You feel what I'm saying? And still try to cater to the woman's need. Uh, of course, the female, they get tired with the kids. So I got to come home and make sure my wife is soft because the kids had a crazy day that they were. Or maybe she at home, she had a, just a mental battle that she's dealing with. Or vice versa. But we're here for each other to cater to each other. A lot of these women don't know what relationship is. That's why I be saying it's not easy. Getting married, oh yeah, we happily ever, yeah, it's happily ever, but it's trials and tribulations. That's why if God ain't your foundation, it's not going to work. See, oh, how, where's the time of the day you go work hard and you come back home? How can I cater to you? You can. You can if you really want it. You can. Thank you, Pip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so we do have four on. balloons left unpopped. Go ahead and ask these remaining ladies a question just to help you narrow it down. All right. Uh, first question I have. How are you uh, in moments of anger? Like, how, how are you when you're mad like, or angry? Okay. Oh. Let's start with your name and age, and how are you when you're mad? Hi, is it Josh? Jock. Jock. I'm sorry. Hi, I'm sorry. Jock. I'm Layla Lees. I'm 29. Um, the question is, how am I when, I when I'm angry? That's actually a great question. I think it's really important. Um, when I'm angry, I like to be very intentional. Um, figure out, you know, why I'm angry, what's triggering it, but also stay calm in those moments so that I can work through it. Um, yeah, I think it's really important to stay calm because then in moments of anger, if I'm dealing with another person, um, it also, if I'm calm, it's, it disarms them so they're not angry and now we have a peaceful kind of situation where we can kind of move through whatever conflict it was. So definitely, definitely just remaining calm. Not at her okay. answer. Why they right. pop? Let's go on over here. Let's start with your name and age and how are you a handle hanger? Anger. I'm Jordan. I'm 27. And I am definitely the type of person who I do like space um, when I'm angry. I would say when I was younger, like teenage years, um, I did struggle with handling my anger. And I feel like now as an adult who's dealt with that, I do like to have space um, so that we can come back and have a productive conversation. Okay. Okay. We'll be back. We'll be back. Let's go on down over here. All right. Name and age and how do you handle anger? My name is Naya, but I go by Naya Monet. And how I, angle, how I handle anger is I like to allow myself to feel all my emotions and then revisit the situation and, you know what I mean, what's going on. And then I like to talk to the person if I'm angry at them and get down to the bottom of it and then go from there. Okay. Thank Respect. you. Okay, let's go to our lady who ended up popping her balloon. Your name and age. Hi, my name is Candy and I'm 29. And Candy, why did you pop your balloon? Um, so originally, I was definitely trying to give it some time to just maybe hear a little bit more. Um, I love your career choice. Um, I'm an HR professional certified mm -hmm. in the field. So I admire a man who has a professional job. Um, but I think initially, just after I kind of thought about it, um, personality wise, I feel like you might be a little too timid. Um, so I'm just unsure that our personalities would match. Timid? What does she mean? I know she mean, but I would disagree if you get to know me, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're not really a timid person? I am not. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. <laughs> so now, is uh, Candy someone that's your type? Yeah, I like her. I like, I like what she's wearing, too. I like red. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Candy. <laughs> All right, so. So parents name their child's Candy? No, they don't. I don't ever think it's a woman. I'm not going to say everything because we, we got some crazy people. Already. 
a mom, a baby come up. Oh, I'm going to name her Candy. She gave herself that name. She gave herself Candy. If your mom named you Candy, I would be pissed if my mom named me Moscato. Hennessy. Like, like, why would you name me a beverage or a, or a snack? You know what I mean? And then try to dress the name up. K-H-A-N-I-D. Or H-A-N-D. Y'all know me. I can barely get out here. You know what I mean? Try to spell it all extra bedazzled. Candy. No disrespect to Candy and her actual name. She's beautiful and amazing. But I just, this is thought. Hmm. Let me have you ask these ladies another question. All right. Uh... All right, if I was to talk to either of your exes, uh, sorry, I got to bring this up. Uh, how would they like, advise me on dating you? I feel it. Why here. would you say that? How would your exes advise him on dating you? Okay. Um... Why would you even want their advice? It didn't work with them. <laughs> why, 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 would I, why would I ask them? And I don't ever think about the ex. The thing, the question is maybe is what happened in your last relationship. That's a better thing to bring up the last relationship. Not oh, if I talk to your ex, what would he think? Come on, man. I think it would be different depending on who you're talking to because you know there's always growth after every relationship. Right. Um, and so I can't even say that. So I guess my last relationship, maybe he'll say that. Hmm, that's a really good question. I'm <laughs> pushy, maybe. Um, nope, little patience, pushy. Yeah, I'll say that. Um, because what I what I what I used to do was, if if I don't like something, then I will continue to bring it up right instead of having patience and allowing that person to work through it and develop and so that was something that I really had to learn like you know giving people grace um waiting and you know things like that so yeah that's my answer what would your ex say about you ah easy uh the main thing she would say uh mainly <laughs> Sorry, like, I, I didn't expect that to be... Yeah, it's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> you asked it and you weren't even ready to answer. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> All right, bring it. All right, so she would mainly say, like, uh, I'm a very outspoken person. Uh, I will say what's on my mind. I don't mean any harm at all. I am respectable. Like, uh, I get along very well if you uh, have a mother. Like, I don't know why, but moms love me. Uh, <laughs> I'm very cool with the dads, too. Just saying. And uh, yeah, like um, pretty much you see what you kind of get. Like uh, I'm, like I said, I'm a hard worker, hard working person. So I want a hard working person too in my life as well. Family oriented. I definitely want a family one day if uh, hopefully that's the thing. You gotta make that eye contact, bro. I feel like that's why old girl, when she said timid, it's like, it's not giving that man, you know, not saying he's not, but it's like he kind of nervous it looked like. He looking down, talking. He ain't looking up. He ain't even looking at Orly, looking at, you know, back and forth. You got to kind of be that, be assertive. You know what I'm saying? You got to, when I'm talking to feet, you got to look in them, in, them, in them eyes, man. You got to look in them eyes. You know what I mean? Staring at soul. You know, the eyes is the gateway to the soul. You know what I mean? I'm like, but he looking down. He kind of doing this. You feel me? Everybody looking at him and he looking at the, he, you feel me? I'll be looking up. You and, know? uh, yeah, yeah. Like, she would definitely say, like I'm already a good guy. Like I don't, I don't think like we ended on bad terms either. We ended on pretty good terms. Is this uh, disagreement as far as like uh, where we were both headed in life? And two, uh, I mean, just extra bonus points on my other exes. I, uh, I lived in other countries, so that's why those ended too. I left the country, so like most of my relationships ended on good terms. Okay. Yeah, so at first I was like a little hesitant because you were only listing positive things. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, that's kind of a little interesting. But, um, okay, what's next? No, you're good. We're going to go to the ones that popped. <laughs> All right, why did we end up popping? Um, so I was really trying to hear you out. Uh, when you first, it was like three things. When you first came out, I picked up on kind of what she said, um, being timid, but uh, this is, 
a unnatural environment and I'm nervous myself. So I was like, you know, maybe in a different setting, you'll present yourself in a different way. Um, But what she also said down there resonated with me as well about the balance between wanting a catering woman versus a hardworking woman. And if we, we got far enough and I got the chance to ask you a question, I actually wanted you to elaborate on that. That was kind of the second thing, but I wanted to hear you out more before I made that decision. But the final straw was really the question. I think um, a better phrase question would have been like, what did you learn from your past relationship? Not how would my ex guide you into dating me? I literally said that. Not the same word for word, but the context of the way he worded it was crazy. What would your ex advise me on dating? It, I, why would he advise me on dating a woman? I'm, nigga, you didn't work out with, my, with her. I'm not finna talk to your ex about none. I don't want to hear about your ex. What happened in your, in your situation? What What did you do that you could have done better? You know what I'm saying? It's just the way you worded it, bro. That's it. I get what he was trying to like I get the plate he was trying to, you know, give. You know what I mean? I get what the food he was trying to give. But that plate looked beat up. Greasy and everything. You know, you delivered it on a nasty plate. The food could be good. The context is smooth. I get what you're trying to say. But the plate, the delivery, the... Nah. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. I think that's kind of intrusive and also um, counterproductive as well. So... Respect. <laughs> Great answer. All right. Respect. So now is uh, Jordan? This is the name. Yes. Is Jordan someone that's your type? Yes. Thank I like you. what you're wearing too, by the way. Thank you so much. Really Thank nice. you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And then when someone else did pop. Oh, okay. We'll head back. Someone else did pop on that question. I but- popped my balloon in regards to the X question only because it's kind of hard to decipher because you know you get different versions of people. And some people are just seasonal. Mm -hmm. So you could ask someone from my past and they could say, oh, this or that. And then you could also have somebody that has a good experience like, oh, she was the one that got away. I mean, I still have them on my phone to this day. Not saying I'm entertaining anything, you know, but you have to see for yourself because if we're on the same exact level, we can come to an understanding and really get to know each other and be intrigued by each other. You can't really base things off of what somebody in the past says. You have to see for yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. So that's why I popped my balloon. Got it. Okay, and then before he asked that you did have your balloon unpopped, why so? I like the way he carries himself, and I also like his career choice. He seems like a sophisticated black man, and I love to see a black man thriving because, you know, everybody's different, and everybody's at a different level of life. Okay, but I, you know what I'm saying? But I appreciate that, and I'm proud of you. Keep keep it going. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now is she someone that's your type? Yes. Okay. Why did, why did you hesitate a little over there? You hesitated. Because <laughs> I'm silly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's goofy. Okay. But yeah, yeah, I would, I would talk to her. Though. I would to get to talk to her, like, deep to know her a little bit more. But I think I would, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Our last hanging balloon did end up popping. Why did we pop? I'm sorry. I... Yeah, so I'm giving it a chance. Um, At first, I was a little weary because you did seem way too soft-spoken. And, like, um, I have a big personality, and I feel like I would just... I don't feel like it would mesh. But then when you said you are outgoing, I'm like, okay, he might just be a little, you know, shy in the environment. Okay. But, like, looking, um, looking back at it, I think I just... Even in maybe an unnatural environment, I would still want you to show up and be dominant and be, you know what I'm saying, and not feel pressured in a in an unnatural environment. I think I would prefer that. Um, and also, I think that you would probably deserve a woman or want a woman that's probably drooling over you. I think you're attractive, yes, but just a little too slim for me. I like um, maybe like 220 and up. Oh, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. <laughs> what I would say, right? I like this group of women. I would say... Their their reason on popping it is popping the balloon. It's not my new. I like this lineup. This is a good lineup of women. I feel like the more Arlet is is doing these episodes, I feel like more more women are coming in with intention. Like even her in the third one broke down why they pop. Right? She just said she 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 heard something. She waited. She said she was out. He was out going. Okay, cool. I'm gonna stay up in here. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna just pop because of my new. You know what I'm saying? They have actual facts, on, well, actual good reasons, solid reasons on popping it. I like this lineup. This is good. This is good. Man number two. Man, she said, what did she say? She popped her balloon because she don't want to work hard. 
I don't mind taking care of a woman, but dang, when you have that intent, like, ah, oh, I'm just about to flow through life, I, that just make me think you like that with everything. We have an argument. I don't want to work hard for this relationship. I want it to be easy. I'm leaving. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. <laughs> and now is she someone that's your type? Yeah, yeah. She's whole known for me. <laughs> oh. That's <laughs> fine, though. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Well, unfortunately, that is all of the balloons popped, but we do thank you for coming on. Let's give it up thank for you our all. ladies. Thank, thank you for this experience. Thank you. <laughs> Damien Paul George. Lilla. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. Alizé. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name's Antoine. Antoine, how old are you? 35. Okay, and what do you do? I'm a school safety specialist. Um, I do private protection on the side. Oh, that's, that's, the, that's the super cop. That's the one who was on the last episode with the lime shirt. I got a great memory because you got to think about it. I record things and I got to edit. So I'll be, I'm like, you feel me? They was feeling them on the last joint. He, he had options. He had options. Let's see what happens right here. Let's see on the flip side. You know what I mean? Oh, man. I'm a restaurant investor. Um, if you're ever in D.C., Horace and Dickies, okay. uh, that's what we uh, invest in, uh, in addition to private protection. Nice, nice. Uh, and now what are some things you like to do for fun? For me, play basketball, watch basketball, learn about myself. Okay. Um, I love to go to the gym. I love to be home. You know, I'm a homebody <laughs> for real. I love to travel. Okay. And uh, yeah, that'd be it. Got it. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Someone who's built off affirmations and self love. Because mm. I feel like that's a strong woman, you know? Okay. Someone who knows exactly what they want and where they're going. Got it. Uh, got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers someone who isn't, who's angry, you know, all the time, uh, who isn't humble, who isn't nice, who isn't kind. Um, and who just, I guess, don't have no motivation and desire to be better. Okay. You know, I would say. Okay. Sure. Nice. So we don't have any pop balloons. Yeah. You're doing well, Antoine. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. So for the first round, I am going to have you pop two balloons. Okay. Just off of what you're seeing so far, what's not really your type. So let me yeah. hand you a pick. Sure. There you go. I'm and left-handed, then... so I'm gonna switch this. Okay, no, you're good. Do whatever you gotta do. Five go and ahead seven. and pop those two, and then okay. I'll ask you why you ended up popping. You gonna go five seven? You gonna go five and seven? Yeah. Told you that's seven. Okay, and I then think. one more. One, two, three, four, five and seven. When it come to this, what what do you say? Kevin, I Tommy and y'all. I okay, let's start. I, five and seven, I told you. Look, if I, if I set up an event for my homies and it's a group of females, I know what female each of my homies going to want based off their type or just the vibe that they give off. You know what I'm saying? If you got four and we got four, I know exactly who's A to Z tier or C tier, B, D tier. B, C, D, B, C, D. Yeah, D, D tier. Oh, man. Right here. I can tell, bro. <laughs> we can have your name and age. I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. Okay. And Tanisha, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, I just wanted to hear him out. I feel like he has a great fit, and um, I liked what I heard so far. So yeah. Got it. And now, Antoine, why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, just you know, just not my type. Okay. Um, big on energy, you know. So for me, I'm a no. You know, that's okay. pretty much it for sure. Okay, got it. And then we did pop one more. Let's hey, it's one play. It ain't about no energy. Nah, it ain't about no energy. Mm mm. You gotta like it first from the eye game. You gotta like what you see before you can even feel energy. You know what I mean? You gotta like what you see. If you don't like what I always tell people, personality ain't got nothing to do with being a. If you don't look attractive to the person, your personality, your energy could be high, high, vibrate, whatever they, whatever they be saying. If you're not attractive to the person, you will never land the play. You will never land the play. Let's head on over here. Let's start with your name and age. My name is Nye. Well, Naya, but I go by Naya Monet. I'm 26. Okay. And why did you um, have your balloon unpopped? I had it unpopped because I, he's a smooth talker. And you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you hear of green flags and you also hear red flags. But um, anyways, he's a smooth talker. So I was interested in listening to what I was hearing. Okay. Um, but yeah, them pants are a little too tight to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And now, why did we end up popping? Why did she do that? Why did you do that? Now, if he roast her, it'd be so... Why did she do that? Her balloon. 
Just wasn't my type, you know. Um, I'm okay. not, I'm not here to go viral from disrespecting no female. So, See? I mean, just not my preference. I'm not yours. Well, I was yours, but my jeans is a little too tight. But that's fine. Feelings mutual, baby. I appreciate. It. <laughs> She's hurt. She hurt. Feelings ain't mutual. He pops your balloon. Like, why would you roast out of every? So that's what I'm saying, Lofi. But let's let's not do. It just show that you're not ready. He came classy, grown with his response. I'm not here to go viral disrespecting women because he could go crazy. He could go crazy. I'm going to go crazy with that Sonic the Hedgehog ponytail hanging on the shoulder. He could go crazy with her. Oh, my God. I said, gone. I don't use the Lord name. I've been working on it. He could go crazy. Feelings mutual, baby. No, it's not. You're mad because he popped you. Then you went to go attack him about his jeans. And what's wrong with skinny jeans? I'm going to always wear me some skinny jeans. Appreciate it. You have a nice smile. Appreciate it. Okay, let's head yeah. on back. Okay, so I'm going to have you ask the remaining ladies a question. Ladies, um, how's your mental health? Like, because I feel like you have to be mentally healthy to even start a friendship or relationship or anything like that. Okay. All right, let's start here. With Hi. your name and age, and then answer just question. Hi. Um, first of all, you smell amazing. You're appreciate lighting up the entire room. I appreciate you. Um, my mental health. Is... Your name. He doesn't know your Ooh, name. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Layla Elise. My mental health is phenomenal. Um, I work on it daily. I'm very big on self mastery, self growth. I read a lot. That's literally my world. Um, and so. What I realize is that if I don't work on myself and develop myself, I'll continue to be miserable, unhappy, angry, frustrated, you know, being in bad situations. Yeah. So it was really crucial for me to start that journey and I've been on it for a while. So I think I'm in a phenomenal mental space. I love that, mm -hmm. sure. Okay, let's go over here with your name and age and ask this question. Hey, I'm Serena, I'm 29. And uh, my mental health is really great. Uh, the gym has helped me with a lot of my mental health some things i am still working on daily is um it's just patience and so i don't tolerate anything that's toxic or negative simply because i'm a calm person and um i'm very spiritual so anything that's too heavy on my soul or spirit i just get it out of my life so i'm 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 not patient with anybody that's negative he's smiling too hard man i get it she look good but hold your horses I'm just playing. But overall, I'm my mental health is great. It's amazing. All right. It's amazing. Name and age and answer to this question. It's amazing. I'm Jordan. I'm 27, and I'm actually a licensed therapist. And I don't share that to say that you should assume that my mental health is great because of that. But I, I think I'm qualified to be able to answer the question. And I have good days and bad days. You know, I've made a career out of pouring into other people's cups, and sometimes that leaves yours empty. And so I um, am working on being more intentional about that. But a great release for me is basketball, actually. I'm a washed up retired hooper. Um, I love the, I love the game. Um, and so that helps me a lot. I'm very conscious of my mental health because of my profession. So okay. this lineup is amazing, my nigga. Oh, every this is probably the best female lineup mentally that I've seen or they produce. Literally. Come to find out if you if you are OG here, right? It's 53 minutes in. If y'all watching this whole video, number one, I really thank y'all and I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. You feel what I'm saying? I really love you. I really do. Men or female, y'all know I don't do that. I'm a grown man. I ain't got to pause. Man, I love you, bro. You feel me? I love you. You feel me? I love you, lady. You feel me? I love y'all for even, even y'all changing my life for real. Like, this is helping me. But the OGs, I don't know if y'all remember, you've been here for a minute. It's a lady that was wearing green. She just got convicted of 16 years. And if you go back to the video, I said, it's something about her. I called, I said, it's some. this before it went viral. I said it's some about her, right? I could read pretty people really pretty cool. You feel what I'm saying? This lineup is a solid lineup. You feel what I'm saying? Besides girl at the end who tried to do the, the, the they ain't really disrespect that they don't like. It's a solid lineup. And a group of guys got some solid questions. It's outstanding. Um, I play basketball as well. I don't feel like I dunk on you though. What position? <laughs> what position? One through four. Yeah. So, I do a little of everything. Point four. Promise. What did you do well? 
pass the ball, be a good leader. <laughs> good leader. Um, I was always a leader in everything I've done. Yeah, I'm dropping four. I was a point guard. Okay. I was more assist than points as well. Okay. Four. Okay. I'm dropping four. Our next lady, your name and age, and answer this question. Hi, uh, my name is Candy, and I'm 29. And I would say my mental health is well. I'm really glad that you brought that up and asked that question. I am an affirmation girly. So I have about 20 affirmations that I go through daily and I, I speak to myself. Um, and I also started a jar um, that I put positive things that have happened to me throughout the year in. And then at the end of the year, I will read it to myself and kind of reflect. So that's one of the things that I would inspire my partner to do um, as far as um, making sure our mental health is good. Yeah. yeah Stop. Okay, and we did get a pop balloon. Why did, let's start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Kendra, I'm 29. I know you're like probably shocked by this. Um, we follow each other on social media. I know you're from a past episode. For me, the pop balloon was not from here. It's from how I perceived after you came off the episode. I, I work in a very like um, exposed industry and so like how my partner represents me is really important and I want someone that's like the kind of like act like you've been there before and after you came off your episode it was like all thirst traps like I just get the feeling that like you're enjoying the fact that so many women thought you were so attractive because you are you're on paper like chef's kiss but I just need someone who is focused on my admiration and not every woman's admiration why does he do it? Is, is it like, is he trying to make a, if I would make a career out of it too. Is he on there like going, he, he working out? What did he do on his Instagram? I don't know. Let me see what, what does he do? What's okay. Uh, can I respond You're, to definitely that? Definitely go ahead. Yes. Um, I get how it could be seen. I mean, looks can be deceiving, you know? I just love myself unconditionally. So it may be seem like I'm thirst trapping, but I don't comment on anybody who's sending me messages or sending me comments under my pictures. You be pinning those videos, comments though. Cause I think they're funny. Why are you mad? What's going on? He can't, what's up with that? Get your bag, bro. If you come on this show and all the women want you, women show support. When, the, when you have went a woman support system, uh, they gonna ride or die for you. Go crazy, bro. He's making a career. Don't be mad at him. Cause he going crazy. What's the little mouth? He going crazy. What you mean? Go crazy. But you pin those comments though. What you mad at? You got to have some security, baby. It go both ways. You got a man of high stature who women won't. Baby, you got to be secure yourself to know that your man ain't going to leave you. Vice versa. When women say, oh, he can't handle a pretty woman. Can you handle a big uh, uh, fella? He coming through. Huh? Can you? She can't handle it. The other woman ain't even popped her b b balloon after that. Cause they, they, I can handle it. Women gotta be able to handle that too. Just being real. It can't be one way straight. Females all the time who bad with a begging body that like to show it off. Yeah, he gotta be ready to handle me. I don't know. Uh, 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 uh. He flipped the switch on him. Let me go. Let me show you the biceps in my triceps. Let me show my shoulder work on me. Can you handle it? She can't. She can't handle it. At the end of the day. <laughs> At the end of the day, if somebody's giving you affirmations, right, and you think they are good affirmations, that's fine, you know? But my social media is for me, and if my partner had an issue with that, we could talk it out. It ain't that deep for me, for real. I, um, I feel that. like I'm representing myself well because my last name means a lot to me. That's a legacy to me, you know? So if it, my partner felt like something was wrong with that, I'd definitely take care of that, for sure. I respect that. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's head back. Okay, so off of those responses you heard, I am gonna have you pop one balloon. One balloon. One balloon. <laughs> now, let me say this, because I do be saying this, right? I don't know what he posts, you feel what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know if he just posts a boom, 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 he in the gym, wah, 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 trying to get his breath. I don't know if he on there going crazy with the link in the bio. That's kind of crazy. You know me. That's that's. I don't care on what side of it is. All money ain't good money. If it's made immoral, that ain't good money. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. I don't know what he. I'm not saying he do or not. I don't know what's going on. But it sounds like he just posting himself, probably taking some selfies or whatever. Boom, getting fly. Probably 
enjoying it and basking in that boom, like he said. If that's that's just what it is, he can't control that. I don't know what he be posting. That's a hard decision. Them four okay, is so why do we end up popping hers? She has a great energy and aura about her, right? It's just for me, just I need to feel more. And I felt it, but I just need more for me. You know, you look great. Your response was amazing. Thank you. Top tier for sure. And you yeah. look great. Nice Thank smile. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. She looked yeah. great, though. Got it. And so why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, so definitely there's a physical attraction. Um, I like the tattoos. I like that you're tall, a little buff. I see you in the gym. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> uh, you know. Um, but yeah, I think that um, just kind of hearing him out and his responses and the affirmations was a big thing for me. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of waiting to hear a little bit more. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and ask these ladies another question. Ladies, um, are you happy? The reason I ask that is because I feel like before you can make somebody else happy, you have to be happy. I feel like a lot of people depend on somebody else's happiness to bring them up. And nah, I'm not here for that. I can add to it. But yeah, I just really need to know. And with that, what is that to you? Okay. Happiness. Start over here. Okay. Okay. Answer this question, please. Can I ask you to specify? I feel like you said, are you happy? Or do you mean that in the general sense? But then yeah. you talked more so in a relationship. Yeah, like are, are you are you happy meaning like are you happy enough to even enter a relationship? What is your, what is happiness to you? Okay. I would say I'm happy, but not content. And I mean that in the general sense, not in a relationship sense. So um, I, I, I'm i happy with where I am. I'm happy with who I am, but I'm not content. Right? Okay. I think That's there's always room for growth. For sure. Okay. For sure. That's a fire response. Let's go over here. Uh, I feel like I'm a very happy person. Um, I'm happy with myself. I love myself a lot. Like um, so I actually do like the fact that you love yourself the way that you do because I do want a man that's like that. Um, so I would definitely say I'm I'm happy with everything where I'm at now. I would say um, something that would make me happier is to become a family woman. So, <laughs> so yeah, Respect. just build my own family, or you build our family, and I or I nurture our family. Yeah, so yeah. For sure. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you want to answer this question. Um, in this moment, I'm very happy. Generally, I'm a happy person, bubbly, energetic. <laughs> um, <laughs> there are moments where, you know, I'm not happy. I might feel sadness or, you know, different types of emotions. But the good thing is that I'm able to still be, I'm still able to accept myself and be content in those moments. Okay. Mm -hmm. be I think that's really important because if we aren't always, you know, content in these moments and accepting and appreciating, right, we're always going to want more. We're always, we're never going to be satisfied. For sure. So I think it's important to be, you know, satisfied with where you are now, even if that's not where you want to be. Mm -hmm. Gosh, gotcha, for sure. I know you guys want to hear from him too, right? Yeah. What about for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> what makes me happy is, you know, being there for everybody else, you know? That right there is why I do it every day. Uh, my grandmother raised me. Um, don't know my father, never seen him before. So seeing other people happy um, and again, seeing myself growth, that makes me happy. You know, so seeing other people win. I don't care if it's a friend, somebody I don't know. If they're doing good, I'm happy. Okay. So, yeah, that's what makes me happy, just being there for others. Got it. Uh, okay, Antoine, well, it is time to <laughs> pop a balloon. Which one out of these three beautiful ladies are oh. you going to pop? <laughs> you guys are making it hard for him. Yeah. <laughs> Answers are amazing. They look amazing. Um, stop looking at me like that. This man's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Wild girl in the end did pop her balloon. She said she wanted an intentional man. I don't think he's being very intentional. <laughs> Why she ain't pop? I'm telling you, when they want you, it don't matter about how long it takes. They're going to wait. They gonna wait. Last dude took a little minute. Oh, I want an intentional man. She don't care about none of that with bro. Let's see though. I might be wrong. Let's see. Eight. <laughs> okay. I mean, I saw that was really tough, but why did we end up popping hers? <laughs> it was tough. Um, energy, great. You have a great aura about you as well. Thank you. Um, 
it wasn't no real specific reason. These ladies look at me in my eyes like they trying to take something from me. These two. And that's pretty much what it was. But uh, that's, that's pretty much what it was. For real. All right. She's great, though. Yeah. Yeah, she looked great. She looked so great. why did you have your balloon unpop for him? Um, he smelled really good coming out. Like, <laughs> just lit up the room. Um, and you are very handsome. Well put together. I love your outfit, even Appreciate though I do it. not prefer my man to wear. Are those jeans considered jeans? Ooh, these, yeah, these jeans. Yeah. I wouldn't um, prefer my man to wear it, but I know clothes are changeable yeah. and uh oh, you're 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 left-handed <laughs> sure. so left-handed people sure. are really smart <laughs> for sure <laughs> so, yeah. appreciate it all right cool i'm left-handed too baby she's still in line tell me i'm a, I'm a i might not though i might bring my because of the way she be you know what i'm saying she look good though she look amazing what's up with y'all in the jeans y'all don't like skinny jeans skinny jeans used to be cool I'm still wearing my skinny jeans. I wear skinny jeans, big jeans, carpenter jeans, rancher the wranglers. I love clothes. If it's fly, it's going on me. Oh man. Let's head on back. Wait, hold up. Can I ask you a question? Oh, Where go you for from? it. Go. I'm from Chicago. You from Chateau? Yeah. Okay. I ain't changing my swag for nobody though. Oh. <laughs> what that mean? I ain't go down because you said I, you said because oh, okay. you said um we could change that. Yeah. Well, no, I said clothes are changeable. So oh. which means you. One day you could wear jeans, another day you could wear slacks, or oh, you. you know whatever you oh, prefer. Right. Yeah, okay. but I just don't prefer a man that wears jeans all the time. Oh, no, I don't wear jeans all the time, but yeah. I appreciate it. Of course. <laughs> all right, our two <laughs> remaining ladies. Any questions for our guy? She said yes. So I'll go to her first. All right, let's start here. Do you have a relationship with God? Absolutely. Can, can My you? God is Muslim. My okay. God is Allah. Are you Christian or? I am Christian, but I, I personally believe there's one God and, mm -hmm. you know, you can serve him how you choose to. Mm -hmm. uh, but so can you elaborate on your relationship with God? Um, I talk to him every day. Um, it's a build. It's a work in progress, just like everybody. Do, am I faithful with my prayings and my dealings? I can't say I am, but I believe he loves me because how I am every day and everyday life. Um, I give good to people and uh, that's what he asks to be a good person. Uh, give yourself back to the community and things like that for sure. I appreciate your vulnerability sure. saying where you lack. Sure. Thank you Any questions here? Yes, can I ask two? <laughs> okay, the first one is what is something what's a flaw about you? Maybe something that you feel like you need to work on uh, Okay, I thought it was a two-part uh, <laughs> They're completely different One okay. at a time. Yep. <laughs> um, I would say caring too much, you know because you can care about a lot of people and uh, forget about yourself because you're pouring in everybody else's cup. Even though I love myself mm -hmm. a lot and I pour in myself a lot, but sometimes you can go out your way a lot as well. You what know, does, and that's a flaw. Oh, what does forgetting about yourself look like? Forgetting about myself? Uh, putting others first. So basically, I guess you would say, if, I'm, if somebody needs me, I'm on call, you know, and I'll forget about this stuff that I have going on. It could be finishing, uh, I guess, talking to family. Somebody, like, it, it just depends on what it is, honestly. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't know exactly what that is, but I could forget about myself in many ways. Okay. I get what, he, I get what she's trying to look for. And I get what he, 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 he asking the question real good. Yeah, because you, you caring about other people, man, you could, you could be lacking yourself. Like, you know you need mental. It's like, I ain't gonna lie, I used to do that. You feel what I'm saying? Where I could give you every bit of advice that's good for you, but somehow it'd be hard for me to figure out what's going on with myself. You know what I mean? It's like I could look at anybody else's situation and help them with their situation mentally or whatever. But when I look at myself in the mirror, it's like, where am I? What do I need to do? You feel me? I used to be that at that point until I just, you got to plug back in that source with God. You got to get closer to him so he can lead and guide you in your life. You know what I mean? The real way. And then a lot of times, what, man, you could lose yourself. You can, man. Especially over relationships. You pouring into the relationship so much to where you ain't even thinking, I got to go work out. I got to make sure my health is okay. I got to make sure I'm, I'm working on my, 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 my passions, you know, my passions. You know, that's what people like, oh, relationships can hinder you. Yeah, if you're not like, if you don't have a, a, a structured life. So, you know, you put your relationship before yourself, which is not selfish. It's, it's what you're supposed to be doing. But at the same time, you got to put yourself somewhere in there because you can lose yourself. People start gaining weight. 
You ain't as passionate about your craft no more. You losing money. So, yeah. Um, political views, Kamala or Trump? <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not with none of that. God. Okay. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not into the politics. Um, I feel like they're gonna choose who they want. I feel the and same way. It's not up to us to decide that. Okay. okay. All right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it is the final round. It is time to decide which one out of these two ladies, Balloon, are you going to pop? Okay, why did we end up popping hers? Is she looking through my soul? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Look, she's looking like, what does he mean? <laughs> That's cute. Um, That's cute. Honestly, um, I love your answers. I love your eye contact. Mm -hmm. You actually had me thinking over here for real. So you challenged me in a way. Oh, my questions. Yes, you like that my was questions. outstanding for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I love people who can challenge me. Yeah. You know, because that doesn't happen often. Um, so that's pretty much it. You look great. You came. You look amazing. Okay. And you popped because? Just energy. My I energy. I felt like your energy was great, but. Uh, okay, yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Let me have you scoot on that way. Let me bring you on up here. Come on up. Come on up. All right. Any. I get why he picked her. That's why this lineup is a good lineup. Besides the one in the middle saying she want to be, you know, taken care of. And, and, and I would have to talk to her more. Like, I want to, like, get to know her. Like, what you mean? Like, what are you offering to the family? Like, she said she's a nurturer. Man, any woman that is a great stay-at-home mom or great stay-at-home, that's not easy either. So if you good and A1 at like that, you don't got to lift up a muscle when it comes to finances. Baby, I got you. That's my whole goal. P31. If you know, you know. On the real, I'll take it. What? Because that's not easy. I know I can go get it in, go to work, boom, 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 do my videos, boom, go to the studio, boom, 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 make sure it's clothing, boom, 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 and come back home and know the home going to be a home. Man, I pay for it. Easy. Easy. But you can't just be no, oh, I'm pretty. I don't want to do nothing. See, be, like, no. But I see why he picked her. She got a lot in common. They who? I like how she talks. She's very calm. Um, hey, Orange is a good pick. Any final questions between the two of you before we determine if this is a match? I do. Um, do you have children? I have no children. Okay. Uh, where do you live? In New Jersey. Okay. She said, oh, wow. Okay. Well, do you have kids? I don't. Where do you live? I'm nomadic, so I work fully remote, and so I travel. Okay, where do you currently reside? I, right now, in Texas, but that's only for a couple more weeks. And then um, you'll be where? My next stop is Louisiana. Okay, um, how do you feel about long distance? Um, I guess it would depend on the person. Okay. So that means you're open to it? Absolutely, and I travel, so I can be where I, I want to be, you know? For sure. Okay. For sure. All right. All right, y'all. So is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Yes. We got a match! <laughs> I will take this mic, and you guys can go on. Oh, let's make some noise for them! Oh, let me get out the way. Like, <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Thomas. Thomas, how old are you? <laughs> 32. And what do you do? Uh, I work for a clean energy company as a buyer, Thomas. and I'm in the Army National Guard, and I am a bartender. Nice. Well, thank you for your service. <laughs> and now, uh, what are some things like to do for fun? Uh, you know, go play sports, watch video games. That's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> Simple guy. Yes. All right. And uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, they need to be kind, a woman, a guy. Um, I prefer somebody who... They don't like God. What? But, hey, some, some people are, are they honest with themselves. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather... Uh, that's, that's honesty. You know, I've been thinking about it. A lot of times, it's not, it's not that they don't like it. just they just not living that right now. And they being real with themselves. It's honesty, man. It's going to be 
understanding mm -hmm. and actually have a conversation with someone. You know, I think you should always look to understand the person you're with rather than, you know, have some fairy tale in your head. Okay, got it. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Um, they need to be clean. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, and they need to be understanding, mm. most importantly. Okay. Um, and other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Got it. All right. So we did get two pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay, if we can start with your name and age. Hi, Thomas. My name is Candy, and I'm 29. Nice to meet you. And C Candy, why did you end up popping your balloon? So initially, um, I'm not a fan of the earrings, um, but I you know, wanted to give it a, an opportunity to hear more about what you had to say. And I think for me, it was the video games. I'm oh, not so like, okay. big on guys playing video games. So you can't play the game. You can't play the game, y'all. Certain women, not all women, because certain women don't mind it. We in the crib, I'm on the game. If if I can get a female who like playing the game too. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That was it for me. <laughs> All right. Now, Thomas, is Candy someone that's your type? Oh, absolutely. But, I mean, somebody who doesn't like my earrings or my style, I mean, I really can't do nothing for her. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, we did get one over here. Dang. And then we'll go back to those. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi. My name's Kendra. I'm 29. I popped my balloon just because you look great attractive i appreciate how you came here and gave effort today but i'm just not a woman of god so i want to make sure that you find your match in every way so i don't think it's me what does that mean no she's someone that's physically your type i know you said woman of god is something up there but oh no she's definitely my type but at the same time i Thank mean you. you under you understand like i understand so i appreciate your honesty i appreciate you Okay, thank you. And then let's go back to our other two. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hey, I'm Serena. I'm 29. And um, I popped my balloon because of the video game comment as well. I was waiting for you to elaborate a little bit more when she did speak on the video games, whether uh, you play them a lot or not. But I don't prefer for my man to play video games either way. I'm cool. I don't care if nobody pick I play my game. Uh, you tripping. It's, it's 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 a coping mechanism. It's a it's a reliever. It's a man. If I'm on a game for three hours, that's like you going to Sephora looking through makeups for three hours, or going to what's the name? Going dress shopping. You feel what I'm saying? It's it's how you be able to get your stress relief. You know, it's nothing wrong with the video game. I don't get what type of perception that they have with people who play the game. Cause I play the game. You feel me? Even if I decide, I'm able to do it thanks to y'all, thanks to God. You feel me? My career is where I make money from home. I do this. You feel what I'm saying? I can play the game all day if I want to. I ain't out there slim, slicky, digging and everything that move. So what's wrong with the video? I mean, I don't know. I, I, I would love for a female to explain why they don't like a man playing the game, video game. Especially if he making money, he doing what he's supposed to be doing. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So. Got it. So our video games, like, do you play them very often, or is it every now and then? Uh, no, I mean, uh, kind of came out here extremely hungry, so <laughs> uh, uh, that's kind of the reason that you know it kind of came out just as short. But it, no, I mean, again, it's plenty of other things that just kind of came to my mind when that happened. So, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. But again, you are extremely beautiful. Thank you. And I do like your hair. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then we did get another pop. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Layla Elise. I'm 29. Um, I popped my balloon. Well, for starters, I really love your top. I love your outfit and your face is beautiful. You're very handsome. But I I really can't do a dingly earring. Like it's a deal breaker. <laughs> and then you said. <laughs> right, I didn't know you had the, uh, the, 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 the dangly leaf on his ear. Them glasses hard though. Player came out with the cool them cardiac. No, they're not. They're not. They're not cardiac. Yes, you said something like you seemed like you were very stubborn on that when someone else said it. So they're coming for that earring. Oh no, um, <laughs> I understand. You know some. You know different strokes for different folks. Mm -hmm. But um, you know if an earring is what turns you off about somebody, that kind of shows me that it's not not much that you're looking for. So it's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Can I ask a question? Go ahead. Like, what inspired you to, to get it? Um, well, I have two necklaces of angels on my chest. Um, one is for my child that didn't make it. The other one is for my daughter that did. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. So uh, other than that, you know, the feather kind of represents just the uh, angel wings that I wear. Mm. Pretty much it. That's hard. That's a good reason. To, that's a fire well, reason. Um, is she someone that's your type? That's fire. Oh, absolutely. I, I do like the dress. I don't like the bottom portion, which is, I guess it's a flare. My but ruffles. other than, <laughs> yes. But again, you look beautiful. Thank you. Way. Thank you. So. All right. so we do have uh, two balloons left unpopped. Let's go ahead and ask these ladies a question. See if any of them are your match. All right. Um, can you tell me what your ambition is? Okay. Let's start here with your name this and age, and rider. what's I'm your ambition? My you ambition, know, oh, name and age. <laughs> I'm Tanisha, I'm 29. My ambition is to live the dream, and that is to basically own a house, and yeah. Okay. <laughs> own a house, and um, I'm sorry. Sorry, right, No, baby. you're good. Yeah. That's your, yeah. If that's, that's your, if that's, that's your. That's my dream. That's it's all right, lady. You can tell she a little nervous. You can tell she probably, you know, it's all good. Hey. Look, that's the dream. That's okay. the dream. Got it. Let's go to our next lady. Your name and age and the answer to this question. My name is Nai Monet and I'm 26 and my ambition is to open up a spa. I'm in the beauty and wellness industry and I love to make people feel beautiful. That's ultimately my goal and my ambition. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Ladies, any questions for him? Did you say let's let's start here. We'll be back. Sorry. Did you say you had kids? I have a daughter. You have a daughter. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Kids are a deal breaker. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Got it. So prior to that, um, is he someone that is your type? Absolutely. I think that he is really well spoken and he dresses nice, so that's a plus. Okay. I like her spirit. You can tell she means everything, like she means no harm in whatever she do. You feel what I'm saying? Like even when they wasn't there, she wasn't disrespectful. If they rejected her, she was real cool about it. I like her spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's why when she comes kind of nervous, it's all right, baby, you all right. You know, don't feel nervous, you good. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And now is she someone that's your type? Yes, but I'm be honest with you, uh, a house is pretty low on the list of <laughs> things, you know, but... uh. I guess the American dream is whatever you make it, so. Absolutely. I just want to say, oh, don't do that, bro. If, if that's her dream, what if she never owned a house? Everybody's success is level is different. Pretty low, what do you mean? <laughs> I do not like when people do that to people. Like, just because my goal is to be one of the biggest YouTubers in the world. If your goal is to have a successful, stable income and be the best janitor, I don't know your situation. I don't know if you came from a broken home you was probably a foster kid or just never had boom, boom, boom. And this would be like, man, my, nobody in my family ever had a stable income and, and was able to get their money the right way. What if that's what they boom? Or they just had a dream to be a burger flip, whatever they want to do. Like if that's their dream, that's their level of success, that's success to them. Don't let nobody define your success of your dream. If that's what it is, being when she want to own a house, that's her dream. Many people do that. Oh, that's too low. Thank you. Got it. Let's go down over here. You had a question for him. Come on, bro. I've worked with kids. How old are your kids, or how old is your child? Uh, she's two. She's two. Okay, that's a little fresh. That would be different for me. Um, hmm. What is your comment on family life? Why do you choose to be single and not with your family that you made a family with? If you don't mind me asking, if that's not a stretch. Just out of curiosity, we can talk behind closed doors. No, I understand. Um, mainly because um, you're raising a child, no matter how you know much you want to be with that person, mm -hmm. if you guys are not compatible, all it's going to do is make you both angry and it's going to affect mm -hmm. the child. So I'd rather be with somebody that I love and I'm happy with mm -hmm. so I can reflect on my child rather than be with someone just to hold up some sort of standard that the world puts on us. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, kind of make her into a piece of shit. That's understandable because I'm a foster parent. I'm not a biological parent. Like I said, I've worked with the kids. I've worked with kids before, and I do. Um, but like I said, I'm a foster parent, so I can understand that because I know personally me, if I have a child, I'm allergic to latex. 
Okay, so if I have a child with somebody, I have a conversation before I lay down with anybody. Me personally, I won't be with anybody I won't have a child with. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's a big responsibility. There's some people in the world that I would make a father, but I would not make a husband. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm you understand what I'm saying? I you get, get what, what you're I'm saying? saying? I definitely get okay. what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully we can talk about that. Okay. Okay. We're good. Any further questions? Where are you from? I don't think. I'm from Michigan. You're from but Michigan. But I've been here for a while. Where are you from? Indiana. Okay. Yeah. You know it's crazy, right? No, no, no. I've never seen the two braids braided, right? With the ponytail like that. I've never seen that. That's in that's that's in a different accumulated you know, presentation. I've never seen that before. Okay. So you know what it's like to live in the snow? Sadly, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. All right, well, let's go on up to the front. Come on up, come on up, come on. Why are you looking at Sean? Get up here, girl. <laughs> Don't have to stand here. <laughs> All right, so are there any final questions before we determine if this is a match? Hmm. I don't have any. Maybe he has some. You have any? Oh, yeah. I actually do have any. Good. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I did have a question. Mm -hmm. Um. So tell me, how you feel about dating somebody with kids? That would definitely be something new to me. I know in the past I dated somebody who was a, I don't want to call him a self-proclaimed stepfather, but he was a stepfather to someone else's kids. And it didn't really bother me. Like I said, I'm a foster parent. And even I have friends who have kids and I take them in as their as if they're my own, like I'll babysit them, I'll watch them, I'll help out financially because, you know, I don't have any biological children. So I am a empath, I am a giver, but I know my limits, okay? <laughs> you got to know your limits. Um, that would be something new to me. Um, I don't think I necessarily dated someone who had kids that I knew of, you know? So that would be something different. Like I said, I work with kids, I love kids. Um, sure. You're open to it. I this is something new to me because before I'd be like, mm -mm, I would not date nobody <laughs> with kids. Like I have said that before because I'm just like, you know, scientifically, you know, if you have kids with somebody, like the woman is still young. Do you mind? Do you mind, baby? I'm still messing with each other. Like that's how it goes, how it seems to have gone, you know, with the culture and how things are today in today's society. But I would be open to it if it's like mature and, you know, we have conversations and if there's boundaries, then I would be open to it. If there is, you know, some type of co-parenting arrangements and agreements, because I don't play with my health. I'm gonna have to see that my chart too. All right, girl. <laughs> That's how they be feeling. I feel, I, I, I get what y'all be saying, some of y'all. I be, when I be yapping on and on, I get it, but this is my channel. Okay, so you look like you're thinking real hard. What's going through your mind? Just some of the things that she said. Okay. Um, and I appreciate your willingness and openness. Yeah, and I really do. And I think that's beautiful that anybody who would be willing to have a foster child, to be 100% honest with you, if I'm able to have another child, who, which is a son, I would love to adopt a child because, you know, I think everybody deserves a parent. So, um, yeah. Okay, well, is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yes. Okay, and is it a yes for you for her? No. No. Okay. I can tell. Um, and I can tell. it's a very honest and very straightforward reason. <laughs> and I appreciate that, I really do. And it's a really straightforward reason. Um, during our whole conversation, it was more about, I'm okay with this and I'm okay with that and I'm okay with this. And it kind of seemed more of a, a selfish desire mm -hmm. than a how so when i'm being open and i just said that i never really dated somebody that had their own kids oh it's not about the I'm elaborate really, on that so i can about, understand of course, of i want to have a better understanding so we can be so it's not about a hey i am mm -hmm. open to dating somebody with kids and i'm mm -hmm. more open about that it's more of a hey this is what i'm comfortable with this mm -hmm. is what i've seen this is how i've Percep you know, perception-wise or anything. Never it seen it a before. New experience. So new now, experience not all, open to it anymore. Exactly. And mm -hmm. if it's that easy to be not open to it, mm -hmm. you were never open to it in the first place. Okay. 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 All right. Well, have you head on back. Thank you. Uh How do you... I don't get it, my bro. My, my guy. She said it's new for her. She's open. Is it? Is it that he... Is it the delivery she's setting in? I mean... 
because you are courting her technically. So she has to be selfish in some type of way. Not that, you know, she has to let you, okay, well, I'm open. I am because you're trying to figure out if she is, right? Okay, well, that is all the balloons popped. We do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. I'll take the mic. Thank you. Just some soft poppers. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. What movie's playing? Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's thank your you, name? You. My name is Leron. Leron, how old are you? I'm 35. And what do you do? Well, what do I do? Uh, there's a lot of things. I'm okay. a fashion designer, audio engineer, chef, most importantly, and currently working on real estate. Okay, very cool. Now, uh, what are some things that you like? Did you prefer? <laughs> Dang! What are you fun. Uh, some things I like to do for fun. Uh, I'm very adventurous, so I like to go out, um, hiking, sports, anything outdoors. Okay. And now, what are some of your, uh, what are some things to look for in a woman? Some things I look for a woman, uh, honesty, communication, um, good energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. That's all and I need. I'm simple. I'm a simple man. Yes. And uh, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, some of my deal breakers, lack of communication, obviously. Mm. Um, attitude. Um, and that was really the two final ones. Yeah, that's all, I, that's all that comes to it. All right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Mm -hmm. Let's go on over there, see why they ended up popping. Okay. Let's start with your name and age. Hi, I'm Layla Elise. I'm 29. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Okay, Layla Elise, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, are those your real eyes? <laughs> okay. No, these are not my real eyes. Okay. As a man, wearing contacts without glasses to see better and they're clear, that's one thing. But wearing contacts for to change your eye color while wearing glasses is absurd. That's crazy. Okay. Um, it's just I think the physical attraction, the style, mm -hmm. the dangly earring. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's all. I'm sorry. That's fine. <laughs> Showing the outfit is crazy. Not everybody's cup of tea. It's fine. <laughs> and now is she someone that's your type? Yeah, she's a beautiful lady for sure. Thank you. I appreciate it. But as that. far as my type goes, I would have to say no. I'm out of here. Stop lying. He ain't getting no good anyway. They ain't feeling him anyway. We ain't finna stay here all that long. You know what I mean? We already an hour and a half in. He also, we finna kick it. Mm-mm. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. We been going crazy. Last video was an hour and a half. This one is an hour and a half. I ain't gonna lie, man. We putting in them hours. 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 I could do this for hours. And hours. And out. I can't do this for hours. Oh, man. <laughs> we up out of here, though, man. Put God first. Let me lead God. You will never be led astray. Keep going crazy with whatever you're doing. I love you. You know, if nobody told you they love you today, I told you. And um, strive for greatness. Don't ever strive to be basic. Let's roll.